what okay. is string pool uh, string constant pool right yeah okay once you create one any object in uh, uh, string then it will create uh, one uh, object in string pool uh, suppose you created uh, one object string s1 is equal to new string abc then it will create uh, two object one is in constant pool and another is in non heap area what, what is the difference between a set and uh, a list in list uh, have the some uh, concrete class like array oh, list link no. list vector and a set and a vector and in set uh, we can we can uh, add not add the duplicate element uh, uh, element yeah but in uh, list we can have yeah correct that is correct the main difference is in terms of duplicates so in set you can't have the duplicate yes. what is marker interface a marker is an uh, interface which does not contain any methods. It's a blank interface. It is in two, two to three types marker interface. One is an uh, clone interface. Second is an uh, serializer interface. And third is an, uh, I think, um, remote map something interface. Third one is a. Okay. So in Java, can you tell me what is synchronized keyword? Synchronized keyword, uh, to avoid the data situation, we use the synchronized keyword when okay. you are using the threads, right? So to, uh, like, we will uh, we will put that particular piece of code, whichever uh, the particular piece of code in a synchronized uh, uh, keyword with that particular thing, though, so that uh, it will avoid that particular data situation. Okay. Can you tell me what is aggregation? Aggregation means tight coupling, right? Tight coupling has a relationship, you can say. What is immutable class? Uh, immutable class are things where which property you do not change at runtime like after it is created. So once you create the immutable class, you are not supposed to change the property inside of it. Uh, if you need to change the property inside of it, you need to create a new instance of that particular class and then uh, change the property in your class. Why Java is not 100% object oriented? Because it used the 8 primitive data type, which is like that boolean, byte, sort, care, in float, double, long, which is not object. So it is the not. 100% object to unit. What is volatile keyword in Java? Volatile keyword? I hear that but not sure what. Okay, no problem. Volatile keyword is used, I mean volatile is used in threading basically. You can mark any variable volatile, then variable will be read from the main memory rather than CPU cache. So suppose someone is changing the value in between, it won't happen because every time you are reading the value from the main memory, not from... Uh, can you tell me how hash map works internally? So whenever we create uh, a hash map, there will be like key and value pairs uh, in a hash map. So whenever like we write map dot put key and value, first the hash code of the hash code of the key will be calculated using dot hash code method, and after that it will calculate the bucket index. Mm -hmm. So based on the bucket index, it will check whether that bucket index is already present in the uh, hash map. So if there is no such thing like that, like there won't be a hash collision. So if there is no hash collision, directly it will add into the linked list at the first node. If there is hash collision, it will there will be a contract between this hash code and uh, equals method. So then it will check the equals using dot equals method. It will check whether the content is uh, same or not. If the content is not same, then it will go to the next node. And uh, if the content is same, it will replace the existing uh, content. And there is also enhancements in Java 8. Whenever we need to get the data from the hash map, it takes a long time to, for the searching process, like for calculating the bucket index and all. So for this, uh, after a threshold limit of 16 like that, the entire linked list will be converted into tree map. This is one of the enhancements. What is the heap memory in Java and what is the stack memory in Java? Heap memory is nothing but uh, whatever the object which is declared with the new keyword, it, uh, it will be stored in the heap memory. And stack memory is nothing but whatever the string which is declared with literals, it will be stored. Uh, sorry, stack memory is nothing but the methods, values, and the method name, variables will be stored in the stack, uh, stack memory, in the part of stack memory. Heap memory is nothing but whatever the uh, object which is declared with the new keyword will be stored in the uh, heap memory. What is, do you know anything about reflection? Uh, no, sir. It's a way to like modify the behavior of any any class. Dot class. Yeah, dot class directly yeah. in the code. Yeah. So you are kind yeah. of representing that class and uh, using the methods of that class or objects of that class directly. What yes. is the difference between checked and unchecked exceptions? Checked exception or at a compile time exception. The exception you throw at a compile time and unchecked exception or run runtime exception. This is the these are the concept of. Sorry, I didn't get you. 
Checked exceptions is during the run. Complete time exception or known as checked exception. Run time exception or known as unchecked exception. What is the functional interface in Java 8? Functional interface contains only one abstract method in a, uh, Java 8, we can say. It's an interface. We can say functional interface. Heaven, we can achieve the functional interface with the help of functional interface annotations. It has an only single method. One abstract method in a class means uh, it has an only single method in a class. 